what it do? It's the homie, Good Vibes, KDG, King Davis the Great. Here to bring you them good vibes and positive energy. But before we get into this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can get notified every time I drop videos in the future. Hit the like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the video. Now, I got some information for you guys about GTA 5. They got a big update coming out tomorrow. And also, some leaks and rumors about GTA 6. Uh, GTA 5's update that they have tomorrow is the Diamond Casino Heist update. And for you guys that's been off GTA for a while, this is the perfect time to get back to it. Get back in the grind. Hit the mean streets of Los Santos. Get that bag up. You know, get the grind up. Get them vehicles that you wanted. Because there's a lot of vehicles that's going to be for, from about 25% to 40% off. And the same thing with the, the, you know, the accessories like the liveries, your brakes, suspension, turbo, all of that good stuff. It's the perfect time to get back into it because you can get everything that you wanted for a cheaper price. Almost 50% off on certain items. So, you know, this is the perfect time to get back to it. There's no telling when they plan on releasing GTA 6. We haven't heard anything about well, I ain't gonna say we haven't heard anything, but we haven't had an official rock star reveal about GTA 6, so there's no telling. And GTA 5 been out for quite a while. I think it's long overdue for a GTA 6, but hey, who am I? Also, um, in this Diamond Casino Heist update, we'll have access to iFruit Radio. Track list. They're going to have about 27 songs on there. And they got a few decent rappers. You know, some of them I never heard of, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty good. Or they know just not by me if they made it to, you know, the video game for Rockstar. Uh, some of the artists, I'm going to just name a few. I ain't going to give you the whole 27 uh, artists that will be on the iFruit Radio. But um, I give you a few like uh, Megan Thee Stallion. Uh, the baby, Freddie Gibbs, uh, Pop Smoke, Skepta. I don't know who Skepta is. If you happen to know who he is, please leave a comment. Let me know. Put me up on game. Uh, Danny Brown, uh, Burner Boy, uh, Travis Scott, Young Thug, Kevin Gates, the baby. Um, who else? They got uh, City Girls, Schoolboy Q, just to name a few. Oh. <laughs> I just turned myself to a rapper. Schoolboy Q, just to name a few. Nah, I'm just messing around. That ain't for me. Let me stop playing. Uh, so yeah, you know those some of the artists that they will have on there. Uh, sound like a good track list for you to listen to while you uh wrecking havoc in the mean streets of Los Santos. Uh, but like I was saying, uh, customization options. You got 40% off on the engine upgrades, brake handling, transmission, turbo, suspension. Um, you got certain percentages off on different vehicles uh, for Rockstar members. Uh, well, Rockstar Social Club accounts. If, it's, if your account is linked to Twitch Prime, you get 100% rebate on, uh, uh, on a bunker. I think it's... Lago Zancudo Bunker you get a hundred percent rebate. Also, you get a hundred percent rebate on Fort Zancudo. Um, eighty percent off the Benefactor. Eighty percent off the Grotti Italia. So you know, it's the perfect time, like I was saying, to get into or get back into GTA Five. Uh, uh, biker business sell or zone sell like. Uh, it's just different things that you could get that you may have not that you may have, may have not have had in the past due to the fact that you just didn't feel like grinding and stuff costs too much because you know you gotta do a lot of grinding on GTA with uh, your your different smuggling businesses and your warehouse business just to get your money up to get some of the things you need or some of the things you want. Cause you like me. If you like anything like me, I be wanting everything. You know what I'm saying? I, I be wanting all the fly cars. 
uh, all the fly helicopters, all the establishments in the real estate, so I could feel like a real boss out here in Los Santos. You know, I did pretty good for myself. I got quite a few vehicles, but I want the big, the big, the big stuff. Um, but they was pretty much also getting into the fact that with this update, um, you can explore many different avenues to completing the heist. So it's not pretty much, you know how before when you did the heist, you had to do it a certain way in order to complete the heist. Now with this one, um, it gives you a different approach and architecture and execution with multiple avenues to try to complete the heist. Uh, with changing the security, uh, heist leaders, you can set up an arcade business as a front that operate out of the basement to, you know, complete some big, big heists. Um, you can use business properties to store equipment and vehicles. Uh, and I think that's what it needs to refresh it. I think with this update, it might be the last update to just keep us busy before they actually drop or reveal GTA 6. That's just my opinion. Because I was getting really bored with GTA 5. I might get back on it just to see what this heist is about and see uh, what's all the new things that they implemented into the heist. See if it keeps you focused and keep you busy, or is it just repetitive, like the nightclub and like a uh, secure serve and like the warehouse? Like you go, you steal cars for your warehouse, and then you still you find yourself still in the same cars over and over again, and going through the same different type of scenarios to get these vehicles and to get the contraband you needed for your warehouse and also your little smuggling businesses. And it's just getting boring after uh, after a while. Now, about GTA 6, sometime this week, they have the Gamers Awards. Now, the Gamers Awards is like the VMAs for games, basically. And, you know, where they give out different awards to these gaming companies that make these games, like Game of the Year. And also, at the Gaming Awards, they also do different game reveals. And, they, you know, it's a great way to keep the gamers hyped about the next couple of years and what may come out some of the reveals the games have been teased already and some of them still remain a mystery uh, a few games that was mentioned that might be revealed is a new Batman Arkham title and another Crash Bandicoot uh, I'm kinda hyped about the, the Batman Arkham if that's true due to the fact that not too long ago, the last Batman Arkham, they were saying that that was, that was going to be the last one. So, I'm, I'm eager to see how they do this. Also, that Batman was a little big and bulky to me. But, he looked a little weird, but it was still a good Batman game, nonetheless. Um, and, you know, a lot of people remain optim optimistic about it and, and, and just hoping that, you know, GTA 6 will be revealed at the Gamers Award because on the advisory board for the Gamers Award, you know, they have a few Rockstar members on it, but Rockstar in the past has never revealed any titles at the Game Awards. So if they do reveal GTA 6, it'll be a first anyway. And being that that's the case, I truly doubt it, you know, I've definitely taken this rumor with a grain of salt, but at the same token, you never know. They might be feeling good. They like, hey, PlayStation 5 coming out. People hyped up about that. Let's make them even more hyped about, you know, the GTA 6. And if GTA 6 happened to be a, a PlayStation 5 launch title, oh my gosh. PlayStation 5 is just going to, it's going to, the day one sales for that is just going to be through the roof all because of that one one game uh so you know that's all the information i have for you based 
on GTA 6. Uh, just that small little tad rumor. Uh, please let me know if you plan on getting back into the mean streets of Los Santos for this GT5, GTA 5 uh, heist update. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know which, when you plan on getting back into Los Santos and maybe you'll see me out there in the main streets. Also, let me know what you think about GTA 6 and whether or not you think they will do a reveal or what you hope to see with the GTA 6. Do you hope they follow along the lines of Red Dead Redemption as far as the gameplay or just do something completely different and continue to be innovative when it comes to open world gaming the way that Rockstar is so down below leave a comment please hit the like button hit your homie with them good vibes and that positive love and energy subscribe button hit the bell your boy King Davis is out one